Hey guys, it's Lepnox VR, and we're talking App Lab reviews. This is the first one, so I'm just gonna open this up. It's a lot more easy going, a lot more chill hangout. You know, throw some jokes in there and have fun with it. The first game I'm taking a look at, I've actually had for a little bit of time, and I've played some. It's called Oxygen Dreams, and I think this was originally on SideQuest for free, but I honestly am not too sure. I played the App Lab version as my first embarking on this project, but it kind of has voxel graphics. It's kind of like Minecraft, and it's essentially a platformer. You have an arm you can shoot stuff, but there is there's so little to the arm shooting stuff, and the enemies you're shooting are not difficult at all. Some of them shoot back. Some of them are just mindless zombies, but they are so easy and so minimal that it's not really part of the game. But the platforming itself which I do want to talk about, has elements to it where, you know, you hit one thing to unlock the next thing, and you can progress through these levels that way. There's a whole bunch of platforming in terms of jumping, so you gotta time these jumps right, and you gotta time them by facing the right direction, because this game has a weird aspect where as soon as you seem to be jumping, or as soon as you seem to be in this, like, forward motion, it really doesn't let you, like, move in the air with the analog stick in the same way. So I found that it was actually better to turn my body to do a lot of these like turnings and line them up because it's also snap turning and you really some of these turn some of these jumping areas you really want to be precise. I did beat the game. It's not super long. I think maybe it's like an hour and a half, two hours, depending on how long it takes you to get these puzzles down. Because some of these puzzle areas, you know, you're making sure the platform is the right way and hitting this and that, and as it progresses, it becomes a whole lot more tedious. So I will say. Keep that in mind. I don't want to spoil too much of this puzzle, so I'm trying to keep the gameplay pretty limited on how much I show you, but we'll play through this one level and I'll give you a little idea what this is at the end, but for the most part, you're just kind of going through these like platforming levels and they all mix things up enough that it's sort of at times you're doing more puzzle solving stuff, at times you're doing more platforming stuff, and I think that's a huge portion of whether or not you're going to like what this is. For me, it feels like for like $3.50 or whatever it costs, you're paying what it's worth. And for that reason, if you're liking what you see on screen and you want this type of experience, I would say buy it. Buy it all day long. But I think that if you're looking on screen and you're cautious, you're probably not going to like it. I did finish it all. I found it entertaining to play through it, but it was to an extent kind of a chore. And I played half of it and kind of stopped and was like, ah, I don't know if I'll finish this again. Went to record gameplay for the second half and I finished it and I was like, okay, we got to the ending. Cool. So it's kind of got that one more time type of thing. I will say though, if you're looking for, you know, these types of platforming experiences, there are other ones, there are better ones. And that should be taken to note because I don't want you to sort of think this is the best one because it's the only one I'm talking about. There are a lot of other ones. I think there's like a cactus one, so maybe check out the cactus one too. But I don't want to talk about other games as much because we're talking about Oxygen Dreams hanging out here. And I almost wonder if this Oxygen Dreams thing is about being underwater because I'm terrified of being underwater and there's some spots that seem like you might be underwater. But it's hard to tell because it might just be that sort of like weird voxel fog thing. But there is no swimming creatures and things like that, so if you're scared of underwater stuff, you don't have to worry about that so much. But it's a, it's a cool game. It's got some cool graphics. It's got some cool elements to it. It, do, it does feel like an indie game. It does feel like a small little project. And I'm going to leave it at that. I think for me, if I were to score this, I would say probably like a 7.2. Because there's not really too much wrong with it. Like I said, there's that weird issue with the controls. And there's the whole aspect of the gun really not being that important to the whole scheme of things. But it is fun. And even though it's basic, it's fun but basic. So, Oxygen Dreams. There's the first App Lab review. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys enjoyed this, this hangout. I got my new side quest sweater. This thing looks awesome. You want to check out that video? I'll link that down below. We also got the Discord. And you guys might have noticed. That new introduction I got there, that App Lab video thing, well, Squeaks de Corge. Yeah, I made sure I was saying that right. 
We got the lowdown on the pronunciation for this stuff, thankfully. Well, he has set up a Discord for me. He's made this awesome app lab introduction. He also did an Oculus Quest 1 styled introduction thing. Animation I used to play for my old videos, but since I got a Quest 2, I was like, oh, you know what, the Oculus Quest 1 animation thing not working out so well. So we're gonna make me a brand new one, so a huge thank you to him. He makes this, uh, he makes a few games as a developer, but he has done Beaver Bay game, which is a Oculus Quest title where you're kind of, you're running away from this, this beaver character, kind of looks like a Five Nights at Freddy's kind of character. It's an early demo, but you can check that out on SideQuest, and you can also check out his game Sub-Zero, which is another Five Nights at Freddy's kind of fan game styled thing. And I'll be honest, I played that one, and I didn't get very far until I was pretty spooked out because this guy has some serious talent, and that has my imagination running pretty wild with what he could get accomplished. So there's that. Thank you guys for checking this out, and uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Oh, before I go, don't forget those likes. Apparently, subscribing not so big a deal for engagement, but likes, whew, those likes are big. And oh, if you comment after hitting that like button or do both, the engagement just goes crazy. So I mean, I don't like to beg for things on here, but you know, if you want to get these <laughs> these app lab videos, which I guarantee you, YouTube is going to push these out of the algor algorithm completely. If you want to get these <laughs> these things getting some views, yo, I need those comments, I need those likes. I'm going to make these regardless. I'm having fun. I got my thousand subscribers. My goal is reached. But you know what? For the sake of the developers making these games to get some exposure for them, you know, let's let's get this series getting some views. Let's get this open to the right eyes so people can check out these games. See ya.